Hello everyone, welcome back to Pulsar Driver. Today we're going to look at the May submitted trips and see what the numbers came out to. So let's take a quick look. So here's a summary slide of submissions from around the world. Uh, we have eight countries with 75 different contributors and they've logged 475 trips so far with uh, that being the equivalent of 34,284 miles or 55,175 kilometers. Here you can see that in May we had 100 trip submissions, so another great effort by all of you. Thanks very much for all your uh, hard work in submitting the data and helping us to get more accurate numbers. So here we look at uh, our contributors, so 75 people have contributed in total and you can see the number under each name is the number of uh, trips submitted by that person. So top contributors of all time, so this is from when we started collecting data uh, and you can see Polestar Warrior has caught up to me and uh, they are submitting a good number of trips on a monthly basis. So top submitters for May, thanks to Ottima for submitting 25 trips, just over 1,000 miles or 1,637 kilometers. Great work by you and as promised last month, I will be sending you a personalized report of all your trips. If you want to contact me uh, on either Facebook or email, uh, email you can send to hello at polestardriver.com or on Facebook at Polestar Driver. Uh, send me your details or your email address and I'll pop the PDF into an email or get it to you somehow. Send you a link. But thanks again. If you would like your own personalized report then make sure that your name is top of this list in the next month. So moving on to consumption. So as expected with the warmer weather, consumption continues to decrease. So here we can see in April we had 32.2 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. And in May it's 30.4. A nice decrease there. And if we look at it in uh, kilometers, 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers in April. And 18.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers in May. So nicely those numbers are coming down. Overall from all the data collected uh, the current average is 34. Here we can see the range in miles per kilowatt hour and we can see here in April it was 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour and in May it's 3.3. .3. In uh, kilometers per kilowatt hour it's gone from 5.1 in April to 5.4 in May. And overall, across all the data, all the months, uh, we're currently looking at 3 miles per kilowatt hour or 4.9 kilometers per kilowatt hour. Here we look at PDRW, which is Pulsar Driver Real World Range. And this is the range calculated based on all the data that you have submitted and uh, we calculate this uh, range for 100% uh, of the battery. So in April, uh, the range was 237 miles per 100%, and in May, it's gone up to 250. So a nice increase there. Uh, in terms of kilometers, we're looking at 381 in April and 403 in May. So again, nice increase there. Uh, comparing the overall average, so top right hand corner is the average across all the data and all the months again. So we're currently looking at 227 miles or 365 kilometers per 100%. And you can see this is almost the same as the EPA ranges that were quoted, but still 22% below the WLTP range. Uh, last month we had a question about whether we were using average or median to calculate these. 
So currently all the reports are calculated using an average. So I've added this chart just to compare and see. Um, so here you can see in miles, uh, we get 227 miles average or 227 miles on median. Uh, and then in kilometers, you get 365 versus 375. So currently there's not much of a difference. Um, I'll keep an eye on this and if uh, it starts to develop a, a larger gap, then we'll look at uh, using median instead of average in future. Uh, range by uh, submitter. So I think this is the third or fourth month in a row. Dave OBE is our most efficient driver. Uh, coming in with uh, a calculated range of 278, which is, uh, that's miles compared, which uh, translates into 3.71 miles per kilowatt hour, or 451 kilometers and uh, 6.02 kilometers per kilowatt hour. So well done, Dave OBE. Again, you're top of the list in terms of most efficient driver. Next page is again the country details just in the actual numbers. So there you can see the top ones are ones that submit in miles and the bottom ones are the ones that submit in kilometers. And for whichever country you're in, you can compare the data for your country and see how that compares to your own numbers. Uh, temperature. So as usual, temperature plays a, a big effect on um, on the range and bottom right hand corner is a summary of all submissions um, across all the months and you can definitely see this one the blue one is uh, below zero degrees celsius then one to ten and then you can see from above ten uh, so eleven onwards three point three miles per kilowatt hour or more uh, when the temperature is above eleven degrees as usual, the same information is available there in Fahrenheit. Preheating, so I don't expect there's much preheating going on uh, at the moment, but we can still see that in May, it's definitely uh, no preheating is getting a better range than preheating. And if I dig deep into the numbers, see here that there are only nine trips where people used preheating and there are 90 trips where people did not use preheating. But you can definitely see that uh, preheating doesn't really help in this uh, instance. The next page is our preheating crossover chart. Um, and there you can still see that 9 degrees Celsius is the, the turning point. So at 8 degrees it's relatively even. Uh, but at 9 degrees you can see that uh, no preheating starts to beat uh, the preheating trips. Wheel size, so again looking in the bottom right hand corner, all trips by all months, we see 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour for the standard 19 inch uh, rims. Uh, then we have uh, the blue ones at uh, 2.6, which is the 20, 20 inch standard and then uh, the golden one is the performance 20 inch so we have 31 trips submitted uh, by people driving the performance uh, model and 10 trips by people who have 20 inch wheels on a standard uh, Polestar 2. One pedal driving on or off is uh, a question often asked and again, bottom right hand corner, summary of all data across all months. Uh, you can see that there's not really much of a difference. Um, so the difference between off and on is uh, somewhere around 15 miles uh, per 100% of battery. So not, not a huge difference and mainly comes down to uh, preference of whether you like the feel of one pedal, one pedal driving or not. Aircon on or off, 
Uh, this one here again also shows uh, the data across all uh, months in the bottom right hand corner. And you can see again, it's a roughly 15 mile difference between whether you have aircon on or aircon off. Next one I'm going to look at is average speed. So here you can see again bottom right hand corner 3.0 miles uh, per kilowatt hour for trips where the average speed was less than 30 miles per hour. 3.1 for trips that were between 30 and 50 miles per hour and then above 50 miles per hour 2.8. Finally we look at distance. So as we would expect anything less than 15 mile trip is the worst efficiency. So here it's coming in at 2.7 um, miles per kilowatt hour uh, based on 70 trips in total. Uh, then we get 15 to 62 and 62 to 125, roughly uh, the same uh, number. Three, it's actually 3.14 versus 3.06 uh, for those two. And then uh, longer trips, so uh, more than 126 miles. Uh, the range drops slightly, but again, it's not by much. So those are the numbers for May. Uh, the report is available now on uh, the website at polestardriver.com. If you want to download the full report, uh, visit there and you can either view it on the page or you can download it. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please give it a big thumbs up. And so don't forget to subscribe and leave us your comments. Always happy to see what you have to say and uh, interact uh, via the comment section. Once again, thanks for joining and I hope to see you again soon.